Hello and welcome to Color Cream on a Scrap More with Brenda. I'm Brenda and today we're doing kind of an addition to the Nosegay so long. We're doing the Nosegay quilt block without YC because we do have some beginners and some students that haven't got the skill to do Y seams yet. They haven't had enough practice to, to attempt a Nosegay quilt. So today there's going to be a link for the no Y seams, no gay. Now you're going to have a template right, which gives you cutting instructions, and you're also going to have your uh, foundation paper piecing pattern there. And this block will give you an eight and a half inch block. So you're gonna have to decide how many of these blocks you wanna do. I would suggest if you're a really beginner that you do one block first. And if that block is too hard for you or you're just, oh my gosh, what did I get sign myself up for? Now you haven't cut like 30 some odd blocks ahead and you've got to, you've got to muscle through it. So, but yeah, the other person I want to talk to you about is Revelation Quilts. Suze at Revelation Quilts does a lot of fun and interesting stuff and her channel's got an interesting twist. So when you go check her out, tell her Brenda sent you from our channel here to her. Um, now we are going to cover why seems in the other video so don't worry about that if you're it doesn't matter which one you want to do but eight and a half is your your target so come on in we got lots of sewing to do today okay now this pattern you're going to find in the show notes below for the patchwork portion of this now i didn't i'm not showing you the foundation paper piecing ones yet but i will uh they're just a little different and again in some of my patterns i have these little lines on the foundation paper piecing where you cut right through. So basically this one goes a full, like if the line goes right past the, the seam allowance, you cut this and you cut this, right? And the same with these other two, right? So that you, instead of giving you three separate pieces, each with a seam allowance, you know you have to leave like a quarter inch over on both sides of, of this because that you're right at where you would stitch, right? So that's the way I do my, my patterns. I'm trying to be economical with your printing paper as well as my own. Now, with this, these two pieces here make this unit, right? So basically you sew a little green square, uh, one and a half inch square to a little green one one and a half inch square there and you sew on the background one and a half by two and a half real simple right real simple and they all go in the corners now you're making three corners right that's the thing now because you're making three corners and I've got some of this sewn together here already because I didn't want to bore you by watching all this go on these two right you cut four or you can cut one three and a quarter inch square and then cut it diagonally twice, right? So you cut point to point. But these ones have to mirror image, right? So you cut, make cut, sew two this way and then you sew two the other way, right? So you're sewing two and two, just like that. Because what's gonna happen at these half square triangles is when you're sewing them that way, is when you put this out on the block, it's going to match up with this right there. Okay, so that's why you're sewing two mirror images. So let's get this mirror image sewn together quite quick. It'd be good if we started with the good sides together. And that's just a real simple thing. These are all your salvage edge, or not salvage, straight of green, straight of green edge. This um, little block, I can't tell you. Um, I got turned around. I don't know. I have fibromyalgia. And I'm not, we're not doing the pity party for Brenda. Uh, I have fibromyalgia and every once in a while I have difficulty with angles. So there it is. Now this is a chevron, right? So I'm going to sew my chevrons these two pieces are chevrons, so I'm going to show, sew my chevrons together. So I'm going to start with this one, and it's going to fit nice and neat in there. Okay, and... Yeah, I got turned around. I Suddenly I was just like, wait a minute, that doesn't look right. That does not look right. No, no, no. 
and put this one in together. And we'll take that out. And we don't. Once, once you, you get yourself turned around, I find sometime with my fibromyalgia, once I get myself turned around, I'm done. I'm pretty much, oh dear, what have I done? Kind of a moment. So I'm just going to get the other half of the chevron. There we go. And, oh, oh, I know what I forgot. I forgot to sew on the half square triangles together. Oh, well, that's not very good. Yeah, I got turned around a few times. Uh, this is not a block I would piece this way. Because it's just, you know, I guess I look at it and my brain says, no, it's got to be done this way. And it's like, okay, well, then there's no convincing my brain that it could be done a different way. So I'm just going to put these two together right quick. Now, in my blocks, I have done with uh, the five-inch scale. And I have chosen to leave all of the white together like all the white the same but you could go totally scrappy with this just go totally scrappy have a good time with it and don't don't even look back whoops there it is gotta go this way so it goes this way there now I'm gonna sew this little quarter square triangle thing onto uh, it goes this way because that's where it's gonna want to bend it goes this way, just like this. These do come together nicely, though. I'm always surprised how nice they do come together, but... Okay. There. Yeah. Okay. There. Okay, so here we are. Go almost there, and then we're going to start sewing the chevrons to the little square pieces here, right? So, here I'm going to go just before I do that. You know, I see something wrong, I'm going to fix it right now before I go too much further because this triangle I cut too short again. I cut too short. Oh my dear, and I can't find my stitch ripper. So, okay, oh, if I can't find my stitch ripper, this is what we're going to do. <laughs> well, we're good. oh there it is. I see it. Oh. So yeah, I just I don't know why I'm having problems today. Anyways, my fibromyalgia kicks in when I'm stressed out or I'm overtired or you know I have a number of things why it kicks in. And some days it shouldn't be answering people <laughs> on the Facebook group. <laughs> I should just let it sit for a bit. And other days, I like I go, okay, I'm feeling not too bad. And then they say something, and it's just like, well, that's not what I meant to say. For instance, I don't say welcome aboard anymore because I keep twisting around the numbers or the letters in t welcome aboard. So I'm just going to fix this by putting a bigger piece here, just like that. That was an easy fix. And making it work. Now that white piece I just added onto this block is way too big, but it'll work. It'll work. I'll trim it later. So now I'm just going to push these and I want them to kind of nest a bit. I try to get them to nest a bit. I pulled all of this stuff out of my crumbs, by the way, because I figured it would be good to do. Empty out, take out a few things out of my crumbs. Okay, now. Oh, yeah, that's way too big. Oh, that'll work. And I'll just cut off this and just rough trim it. What my grandmother would do, she'd sew something big on bigger than needed, and then she would just trim it. And then she'd just, while well, you're going to cut it, you might as well just trim it and be done with it. And I was like, 
where it was that she wasn't concerned with, you know, she just made it work. So I think that's part of my bad habits that I have here sometimes in my sewing room is I, oh, I just may have to make it work. We just have to make it work. And then we're good. So let's get this all finished and sewn up. And I'll show you my four quadrants and we'll do a big ta-da moment. Okay. There we go. Okay, <laughs> so here is the crown of your no Y seams nosegay, right? Now here's your template for with all your pieces. I did give you some cheats. Um, one of the things I I would suggest when you're doing the fabric A where it's two triangles and not a solid piece, you pick something like that's uh, tone on tone or looks like a solid at a distance or whatever, and you're not going to have great big lines like you do here, where I've cut off part of my little flower, right? So that, that'll help disguise the fact that it's not a true nosegay, it's not done in the traditional method, it's done in a very cool and beginner friendly method. The little triangles, the half square triangles, or the quarter square triangles, I mean, uh, two are sewn one way, two are sewn reverse, right? So that messed me up when we were doing this. I was like, I sewed all of them the same way, and I was like, no, that's not it. That's not right. So, but yeah, you could go totally scrappy with your backgrounds, too, and your nose gain. It would look great, all right? So we're going to just grab, I wonder if the, the cone part... Okay, so here's the cone part of this. And the cone part would just fit in like that. And you're gonna assemble it now like a four patch, right? So I guess it would be better if I showed it to you this way with the cone here. And then you can see, right? So that's what it's gonna look like when it's all done, right? When you put, when you sew them together now, it's just a four patch. And the same with the foundation paper piecing. It's just going to be a simple little four patch that you're, oops, that you're doing this with. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I hope you have an awesome week ahead. Okay, you take care, bye. My husband and I would love to thank you for coming along with us on our little fun adventure here that we're having. We do have a Facebook group now and that Facebook group is got some very, very talented quilters in there and we love sharing and, and you know, posting pictures and commenting and it's, it's been a lot of fun. And the advantage of the Facebook group is sometimes I drop patterns in there early. So you kind of get a hint as to what is coming next. After the nosegay sew along, we're going to be doing curves boot camp right away. So we'll get to sewing those curves and it'll be fun. It'll be a lot of, it'll be a lot of interesting little blocks that we've got to work on. But we would like you to share, like, and subscribe. Telling your friends about us and, and letting them know that you kind of like our channel, that, that means so much to us here. So you take care. You have a fabulous week ahead. Okay, bye!